All right, so here's an open box introduction to the summary or summary inverter charger. Now, this is a solar in, inverter charger. It's rated at 3,000 volts or 2,400 watts. The DC input is 24 volts DC for 33.5 amps. The DC output is 27 volts DC as well because it features a charge feature that says that when short power is operational it charges it by default so here's what you're looking at an inverter charger PS3 KVA silver and black inverter mode is 2400 watts up to 3500 I think DC inputs 120 volts AC that can be coming from an inverter that's running off an engine it can be coming from a generator that's separate or shore power or in other words wall power um, the AC output is 120 volts AC the very important thing to remember about buying these units is most of these companies that support these things and build them they make them for European or overseas or German so a lot of them say 220 volts AC so make sure if you do purchase one you pay attention to what your AC output voltage will be and you don't mess up and get a 220 but now unless you intended to get a 220 so that should let you know not only can you run 120 volt AC appliances from a 24 volt battery setup but you can also run 220 volt appliances like stoves uh, washing machine uh, air conditioners whatever welders so what I've got set up here is one solar cell for now which kind of was only just to kind of test to make sure that things were going to line up correctly here but what you've got is also the whole purpose of this for us is to have cool air on the boat and crushed ice and microwave and TV which is a nice little thing when you're on a boat okay wouldn't you agree so I just kind of made this all set up right out here like it is. Now watch this. Our goal was to get off of shore power or generator power or prevent from having the engine running by uh, charging the inverter. So this is kind of simulating shore power, generator power, or inverter power coming from uh, the dock, the generator, or the inverter while the boat motor is running. So what I'll do is I'm going to unplug this. You hear the beeping, which is the solar inverter letting you know that there was a change. But then look, the AC input is nothing. The solar input is nothing. There's no inputs coming into this box to help with generating the 120 volts of current that we need to keep the AC running. You see it's at full, the batteries are at full charge. The total inverter wattage usage is only 25%. Now, because the air conditioner sits to change from shore power to inverter power, it kicked off the uh, the compressor. Well, the compressor is now back on. The solar inverter is still stable at 120 volts, and you have only 50% power being used. So. I can still connect drills, TVs, whatever to this unit and it will still power what needs to be powered. Now I'm using AGM batteries which you know they're or gel batteries, marine batteries which are basically you know kind of a notch in grade below lithium of course uh, and really not even any comparison to the power and the length of time you can run a unit like this set up like this and for how long so yeah this is a great setup it's taken me a, a while to try to figure it out this unit I found it and was able to get it for two hundred and thirteen dollars off eBay which is astronomically awesome so there you go now to get all the other things that I've got ready to go out to the boat uh, and get it hooked up how about that Woo-woo!